guys it is Arika Misha and yes today I am going to be showing you guys doing a little short video showing you guys how um, I remove my press on nails before I apply new ones um, it's important to know before you put on new nails um, you know how to properly take your press on nails off because you have to take care of your nails you know your original nails your real original your real nails before you apply press on nails so basically what I'm gonna show you guys this set I have on pretty set I'm sorry guys my bathroom lighting is a little bit yellowish I'm gonna change it to white lighting but anyway <clears throat> this nail set that I have on it is gorgeous I love this set I'm sure you guys will see have seen the video on these already but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I remove my press on nails uh, how I care what I do for my uh, real nails and how I take care of my nails before I apply new press on nails so the first thing I do get me a, about three pumps of soap whatever soap you got whatever soap you got it don't matter lather your hands up real good Get them all nice and soapy. And if you guys want to see my bathroom makeover, uh, make sure you guys go. Uh, I'll put the link below so you guys can see my bathroom makeover. So you guys can see that if you want to see that. But yeah, what you want to do, you want to get your hands all soapy. Get your nails all nice and soapy. Lathered up. Okay. I got them all soapy. Make sure your water is warm, not hot, warm. And I've got a toothbrush here. Not a used toothbrush, y'all. A regular toothbrush. So, I just take my toothbrush and I just kind of scrape across the nail. Across the back part here. Just kind of scrape across the back there. Back of my nails. Let me show you guys. I'm scraping across this part of my nail. Back of your nail, right here. That's what I'm scraping across because that's where I'm going to lift the nail up from. You guys will see what I mean. And I'm scraping underneath, underneath my nails. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit more. Okay, that's better. All right, good. So. I'm scrubbing across my nails like that because I want to get that all nice and soft and loosened up so I can easily lift the nail off. Scrubbing across the top like that is all I'm doing. With my toothbrush and I'm going underneath. You want to clean underneath there because we all know it gets dirty under the nails. So we scrubbing under there too. Let's get everything all cleaned up before we remove these nails. We don't want to apply new nails to dirty hands. So I'm scrubbing underneath. It's better to use the toothbrush because see the toothbrush can get down in there. Show you guys. See that toothbrush can get underneath those nails. So your toothbrush, scrub underneath there real good. We got that all scrubbed up. Let's get two more pumps of soap. Get our hands all lathered up again. See the only thing we're doing is using warm water and soap and that's just loosening our nails. That water is getting underneath the nails and loosening them up. That's all we're doing. Just getting everything all nice and loosened up so we can just lift those nails right on up. Just scrubbing across. So y'all, I'm scrubbing across like this. See, across like that. You just rub them together. It's easy, guys. Y'all know I'm always doing my nails. I do it all the time okay all right so we've done that twice that is good enough let's go ahead and get those hands nice and dried all right nice and washed nice washed hands cleaned hands and see now that we've done that our nails have loosened up See, that's because we've soaked them in that warm water. We've got that soap on them. So they're all loosened up. So let's move on, guys, to taking the nails off. Okay, guys, and after we've washed our hands really good and got them all scrubbed up and we've gotten our cuticle all nice and soft from the water and the soap, this is how I remove my nails. I have 
a pair of tweezers. We all know what those are. A pair of tweezers. And I take my tweezer. Let me see if you guys are zoomed in good enough. Okay. I take my tweezer. And I go, as you see, I'm at the back of the nail, at the curve, at the back of the nail, right here at the back. And I take my tweezers, that flat part of the tweezers, I take that and I put it underneath the back of the nail. Let me zoom you guys in a little more. Hold on. Because I want to make sure you guys are seeing what I'm doing. Okay, good. Perfect. So, taking my tweezers. And I'm going underneath at the back. We want to lift that back first. And we kind of scrape underneath there, lifting the nail. Let me show you guys. Make sure you guys can see. All right. Because we want to get this back up first. Get the side up. See, and you just slowly just kind of work your way under there. Don't force it. It'll happen. See? You see how I'm underneath the nail and I just take my see how my tweezers going underneath and I just lift slowly just kind of take my tweezer and just work my way under there and I just slowly lift the nail over see lift the nail over and your nail comes right off comes right off easy peasy comes right off the trick is getting the nails all wet under that warm that warm water and soap it gets the cuticles and the back part of the nail right here gets it all wet and loosened up and that's where you want to that's what you want so you take your tweezers let me show you guys again show you guys this way what I'm doing taking my tweezers putting that flat part slowly working my way underneath with the point and I'm just kind of scraping the side see scraping the side and then I'm lifting it you should be able to just lift the nail let me show you guys lifting the nail right off right off not pulling my nail off or anything easy and of course I'll buff you know I buff my nails I'll show you guys that too all right let me show you guys again because I want you guys to understand how easy this is you don't want to be ripping your nails I've been there and done that too. So I'm talking from experience and what I've, I've had to go through learning how to, you know, take care of my nails after I take the press on nails off. You got to take care of your original nails. So you got to make sure you're taking these press off, press on nails off correctly. So you don't want to damage your real nails. So I'm taking the tweezers, this flat part of the tweezers, that little pointy part. I'm taking that and just putting it underneath the nail underneath the press on nail and I'm just kind of wiggling my way under there down the sides I'm just doing it down the sides first see I'm doing it right here down the side of the nail right here at the back and just going down the side first and then you should be able you can kind of lift your back up a little bit go down the side and watch how I just lift it off just peel it right off not peeling my nail damaging my nail peeling it right off and all I have to do this is just you know the glue that you put on there of course and we'll just buff that off it's really easy guys if you just do the method that I'm telling you it's quick and easy I mean I can take these off in like three minutes but of course I'm slowing it down to show you guys taking that pointy part of the tweezer and I'm just getting it underneath the nail there lifting the back lifting the back of it going down my side of my nail and just kind of scraping and lifting that nail up okay scraping down the side there with my tweezers working my tweezers underneath the nail and then I'm just lifting it over see how easy that is it just pops right off See, the trick is to get over here underneath the nail, on the side, at the back, back here. On your side here. I just want to make sure you guys are seeing. So, I want to get right here at the back and on the side of my nail. And this is why I want to go underneath and lift it up. So that way, when it lifts up, it's lifting the nail to come off this way. That way it's not going this way to rip the back of your nail or the front of your nail. 
you're doing it this way to the side all right so I'll go ahead and get the thumb off you guys have seen me take them all off on this hand so see taking it putting it underneath that corner going down the side of the nail see I'm going down the side lifting the side of the nail getting under there with the tweezers see how I'm underneath there with the tweezers and I just work the tweezers underneath there work them underneath there and I just lift look at that just lifting the nail off that's all see and I just peel it right off and voila they are all off and the only thing I'll do I'll take my little buffer whatever buffer you got it don't matter take my little buffer and I just buff my nails out get them all nice and smooth again get all that glue off you know just buff that glue off that you use to put your nail down I just buff all that off see get that all buffed off all nice and smooth get all that glue off get your nails buffed down and especially at the back here at the back of the cuticle you want to make sure you get that all nice and smooth and buffed down too do that too and I keep my uh, nails short it's easier to take press-ons off if your nails are short you don't want to grow out your nails and put on press-ons because it makes it really difficult to take the press-ons off so I've learned keeping my nails short it makes it easier to get the press-ons off because if you have your nails long the press-on sticks to your nail and it makes it hard to peel off so been there and done that so I just keep my nails short I mean if you if, if I'm wearing press-ons why am I growing my nails off you know so I just keep my nails nice and short cleaned and buffed and you want to make sure you're doing this every time you're going into a new set of nails you want to clean your nails up you don't want to keep putting press on nails on top of your nails without cleaning them up without cleaning them buffing them and I'll also show you guys my um, my cuticle oil that I put on because like I said you want to take care of your nails I mean you're wearing press ons you don't want to forget about taking care of your nails all right you guys see how I got that all nice and smooth and buffed out so all I do I just keep my nails all nice and smooth and I do all this before I put on a whole new set of nails I always clean my nails up before I put a new set on I don't want to put a new set on you know my nails are all dirty and stuff you got to clean them up and also when you have press on nails I'm gonna do a video on that too even while you're wearing your press on nails you want to make sure you're keeping your press on nails cleaned underneath and all that too cuz you know food and gulp gets cooked uh, especially with me doing all the cooking that I do so all right so I've got my nail all buffed down I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all these nails go ahead and take this other hand off and I'll be back guys okay guys I am back I've got my nails all buffed down and I did wash my hands again of course to clean all you know the, the glue that I buffed off as you guys can see my nails are all nice and smooth so I wanted to show you guys my next step uh, I did get this cuticle oil it's just cuticle oil you can get it from wherever you want but I did get this cuticle oil from five and below um, it's called nail medic it is a cuticle control cuticle softener uh, you can use it you know it's cuticle oil to oil the cuticles and I wanted to read the back it says um, a water-based cuticle gel that softens cuticles for grooming ensures pain-free and easy cuticle pushback infused with honey vitamin E extract soothing conditioning to the cuticle area uh, this is just great it sounds really good I mean I've used other cuticle oils and I've used this one one time before so and I got it from five and below guys for five bucks I mean you can't beat that um and let's see what else it says um instructions apply cuticle gently push back cuticles uh with the you know with the little stick that they give you I mean you can it's it's basically like a cuticle oil all right and I like how it comes it's a cuticle softener cuticle oil I like how it looks it's like a nail polish bottle just take it off it's got the, the brush you know just like you do with your nails let me zoom you guys in here so you can see how I'm gonna be doing it and the only thing I'm gonna do it like I said I buff my nails down and everything make sure you guys can see I buff my nails down and everything 
Hold on, zoom you guys in a little bit more. Okay, and only thing I'm going to do with this is just go across my cuticles with it. Just take the polish, the nail thing, so you guys can see. And I'm just going around my cuticles with it. It's just a cuticle oil to keep your cuticles all nice and strengthened and soft. Because you don't want them all hard. And then they get all, they start breaking and cracking around the cuticle, you know. Been there and done that. We've all had that. So I'm just taking the cuticle oil. Just going around my cuticles. That's it. Just going around like that, guys. Going around the cuticle bit. Do the other side. See if I can show you guys this way. Just going around my cuticle here. Down the sides, the back. Gotta take care of your nail. Even when you take off the press on. You want to make sure your nails are okay. And make sure they're still healthy. Because putting these press ons, as you guys know I'm always wearing them. And my set usually lasts about three weeks. And this helps your set, your uh, press-on nails last a long time too. All of this that I'm doing. Taking care of my nails. Because you got to remember, that's what the press-on sits on. Your nail. Your cuticle, you know. So if that's not good, that's not healthy, the nail's not going to stick and stay down long enough. And as you guys can see, I've got them all oiled up. And I just kind of take my hands and rub them together like that. Rub that oil in. Just kind of rub them together. I just go across like that. Just rub them together, guys. Just to get that cuticle oil all nice and soaked in. Get my thumbs together over there. Rub that in real good so our cuticles get all nice and soft. And Because like I said, when they get... This is what the cuticle oil is for. When it gets all dry... They start flaking around the edges there. So, just rubbing it in, guys. See, let me back you guys up. Look, back up. Yep, and I'm just rubbing, rubbing it together. You can do it like this if you want. Rub it in like that. Let me get you guys at a better angle. Okay, all right. Yep, let me get some more oil across there. All right, and that's it. I'm just rubbing it in. Massaging it into my um, nails. Massaging it in. Massaging it in. That's it. And I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. And um, if you're not going to put on another uh, pair of press-on nails, I usually um, wait a day. Like put them on the next day just to give my hands time to breathe. Um, and sometimes I do. After I get through getting my nails cleaned up, buffed up, get the oil on my cuticle, sometimes I do move on to another set. So... Um, today I am going to move on to another set, um, but as far as this video, I just wanted to show you guys how um, I care for my nails in between press-on nails because when you're wearing press-on nails a lot, you got to take care of your nails because that's what the press-on sits on, your nails. And if your nails aren't good and aren't healthy, your cuticles all hard and cracky, the nails aren't going to look good and they're definitely not going to last. And my nails last me three weeks, sometimes three and a half, almost a month, so... Alright guys, um, that's it for the video. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and then I'll just put a little lotion on. If I'm not going to put another set on, I'll put lotion on. Um, I am moving on to another set. So I'll just wash my hands, dry them real good and move on to my next set. So that's it for this video guys. Just wanted to show you guys how to take care of your nails um, in between press on nails, how to take care of them, how to remove press on nails safely. All that other good stuff, guys. And once again, this is Arika Misha, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, guys, at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.